Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about a very big family called Papova viride family. Here we have viruses which are often related to many different kinds of disease, of cancers because these viruses have a double strand circular DNA which is able to integrate inside the cellular DNA. These viruses are about 50 nanometers big so they are not so big, uh, they are naked but they are extremely resistant in the external environment um, and they are also very contagious. The infection occurs in a horizontal way, so with a direct contact and the most efficient way is the sexual contact. The genome has about um, 10 genes, 7 early genes and 2 uh, late genes. Uh, among the early genes we have E6 and E7. E6, E6 um, inhibit the activity of one of the most important oncosuppressor gene or oncosuppressor proteins called P53. In particular E6 induces its elimination, its killing, while E7 um, inhibits the activity of another important uh, oncosuppressor gene and so oncosuppressor protein called PRB. RB stands for retinoblastoma because this protein was first found in this kind of disease called uh, retinoblastoma. So papillomavirus is responsible of the 10% of all kinds of human tumors. In particular, it's responsible of 100% of the cervical uh, carcinoma, of the uh, cervical cancer. Um, the 80% of cervical cancers are caused by two specific kinds of papillomavirus, which is the number 16 and 18. Six, uh, HPV-16 and HPV-18 are the most dangerous viruses for this reason. But we have a very large number of, uh, of HPV viruses that are able to cause cervical cancer. In fact, we have uh, some vaccines. We, we have the tetravalent vaccine uh, against uh, the type 16, 18, 6 and 11. We have the bivalent vaccine against six, the, the type 16 and 18 and in Japan um, the doctors, the researchers are looking for a non-avalent vaccine because of course if we can uh, make a vaccine that protect women against all different types of viruses it will have perfect because it will be able to control the, the disease. In this way we just protect women against the most dangerous, dangerous ones but we cannot prevent them from getting, uh, getting the cancer. Papillomavirus is uh, an epitheliotropic virus. It means that it induces cell proliferation and cell differentiation and this is essential for its replication. So we find uh, the episomal form of the virus, which is the latent form of the virus in the basal, in the basal layer of um, the epithelium. Then we find the matured virus on the surface of the epithelium. So on the surface of the epithelium we have the ready virus uh, which is free to uh, interact and to infect other cells. Uh, so um, owing to the fact that the virus causes uh, proliferation and differentiation um, it causes what we call papilloma. 
and it can cause papilloma both in, uh, in the skin and in the mucosa because both in the skin and mucosa we have an epithelial layer on the surface. A papilloma virus doesn't only cause cervical cancer but it also causes other diseases such as um, verisiform epidermodysplasia. The cervical cancer diagnosis is made first with a pap test and then with other laboratory methods like PCR because with the pap test we only uh, see the presence of um, not normal cells but we don't know if these cells are not normal because of the virus or because of other reasons. So if we want to know if the presence of these cells uh, is because of the virus, we have to use PCR. When we find the virus, then we have to understand which kind of virus the woman has, because we have to treat with a different th therapy depending on the type of virus that the person has. Of course, because the different types of viruses have different, different um, qualities, different characteristics, different features. The therapy used is the surgical therapy and also um, the normal pharmacological therapy. So there are some drugs, I mean antiviral drugs and interferon, for example, that activates the immune system. Then, in Papova viride family, we also have polyoma virus. We talked about polyoma virus in one of the first lessons when we, I was speaking about the oncogenic viruses. In fact, in this family we have a lot of viruses that cause very different kinds of tumors. We have JC John Cullingham virus, then we have BK virus, SV40 virus and then MC virus. They often cause uh, tumors in the, in the nervous system, inside the nervous system, both central and peripheral. So this lesson has come to an end again, so I'll wait you at the following lesson, if you want, of course. Bye!